Hey everybody, you're in the house with the Flawless Gamer here. And the Flawless Gamer actually has a really funny story. Not really that funny, but for me, for mo majority of people over uh, the age of 40, uh, I believe from the 70s, you, you can have a little kick at this. It's, I don't know who this is from, but my aunt sent me this to my MI and said that, like, you should read this, this is hysterical. And the subject is hilarious, growing up without a cell phone. If you are over 40 or older, you might think that this is hilarious. When I was a kid, adults used to be bored to tear, bored me to tears with their trid, di you know, I'm just gonna fuck those words, about how things were. When they were growing up, what with, what with walking 25 miles to school every morning, uphill, barefoot, barefoot both ways, yada yada yada. And I remember promising myself that when I grew up, there was no way in hell that I was going to lay a bunch of crap like that on my kids. How hard, how hard, and I had it, and how easy they have got it. But now that I'm over the rip old age of, of 40, I can't help but look around and notice the youth of today. You got it so easy. I mean, compared to my childhood, you live in a damn utopia. And I hate to say it, but you kids today, you don't know how good you've got it. Number one. I mean, when I was a kid, we didn't have the internet. If we want to know something, we had to go to the goddamn library and look it up ourselves in the code catalog. <laughs> Number two. There's no email. We actually write somebody a letter with a pen. Then you had to walk it all the way across the street and put it in the mailbox. And it would took like a week to get there. Stamps were 10 cents. 3. Child Protective Services didn't care if our parents beat us. As a matter of fact, the parents of all of my friends also had managed to kick our ass. Nowhere was safe. Number four, there was no MP3s or Napsters or iTunes. If you wanted to steal music, you had to had a had to hitchhike to the record store and shoplift it yourself. <laughs> Number five, Oi had a, had to wait around all day to tape it off the radio, and the DJ would usually talk over the beginning and shit and fuck it all up. There were no CD players. We had tape decks in our cars. We rat wait. We'd play our favorite tape and eject it when it was finished, and then the tape would come undone. We were running itself uselessly. Cause hey, that's how we rolled it, baby. Dig. Number six. We didn't have fancy crap like call waiting. If you were on the phone and somebody else was. Somebody else called, they got a busy signal. That's it. Number seven. There weren't any friggin' cell phones either either. If you left the house, you just did wait, you just didn't make a damn call or receive one. You actually had to be out of touch with your friends. Oh my gosh! Think of the horror of not being in touch with somebody twenty four seven. <sighs> Brutal. <laughs> And then there's texting. Yeah, right, please. You kids have no idea how annoying you are. Number eight. And we did not have any fancy call caller ID either. When the phone rang, you had no idea who it was. It could be your school, your parents, your boss, your bro your bookie, your drug dealer, the collection, the collection agency. You just didn't know. You had to pick it up and Take your chances, mister. Number 9. We didn't have any fancy PlayStation or Xbox video games with high resolution 3D graphics. We had the Atari 2600. With games like Space Invaders and Asteroids, your screen guy was a little square. You actually had to use your imagination. And there were no multiple levels of screens. It was just one screen. Forever, and you could never win. The game just kept getting harder and harder and faster and fast faster until you died, just like life. 
Number 10. You had to use a little book called the a TV guide to find out what was on. You were screwed when it came to sur to channel surfing. You had to get off your ass and walk over to TV to change the channel. No remotes. Oh no. <laughs> that sounds so weird. Oh no. What's the world coming to? Number 11. There was no cartoons either. You could only get cartoons on Saturday morning. Do you hear what I'm saying? We had to wait all week for cartoons. You spoiled little rap bastards. Number 12. And we didn't have microwaves. If you want to get heat, if you want to heat something up, you had to use the stove. Imagine that. And number 13. And our parents told us to stay outside and play all day long. Oh no no electronics to soothe and comfort. And if you came back inside, you were doing chores. And car seats, oh please. Mom threw you in the back seat and you hug on. If you were luck if you were lucky, you got the safety arm across the chest at the last moment if she had to stop suddenly. And if your head hit the dashboard, well that was your fault for calling shotgun in the first place. See, that's exactly what I'm talking about. You kids, you kids today have it too easy. You're spoiled rotten. You guys wouldn't last five minutes in the seven, 1970s or any time before. Regards, the over 40 crowd. <laughs> what I have to say about that, holy shit, that is hysterical. And I would not say anything else about that. If you, fuck up phone. And if you actually are around like 40 or older I give you grats gratitude for oh my god for surviving that horrific time of the 70s and later oh my god that's torturous but you know what now we're wrapping up for today and I hope you can leave a couple seconds out of your day to comment rate and subscribe on the video and I'll see you guys a little bit later peace out